Hello and welcome to another Lions Lounge sponsored by Mac Finn Services Limited. Um, I've had a horrendous couple of days. I've lost my bumper on the way up the port valve. I've been ironed, but it's all better. Big Tony Waller's going to dig us out and hole and tell us some stories. I like these. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, thanks for doing this, Tony. Appreciate it. Right. Um, right. It's not going to. Well. Let's, let's talk about some good times at Mill. Well, let's get back to the start of your start of your career. Okay. Come through the ranks, Liverpool as an Everton fan. Yeah. What was that like? Um, it, it was good. It was great. I enjoyed every minute. I'm really enjoying me. Um, I was I come out of school and I was actually uh, an accountant for a couple of years. So then I was I was playing Liverpool Liverpool for me one day. So we we'll have a little look. I had to let a lad go. So I had to go in train a couple of nights a week with the. Um, in fact, sorry, no, I went in and played this game. Like it was like a friendly game. So you said right, we'll have a little look at it, more of a look at it. Yeah. So I went in. Um, they invited to come in the same with the academy. So I was about, I was about eighteen then. So I was probably the same with lads who were maybe like 15, 16. Um, but they had a goalkeeping coach, threw a bit of gear your way or that. He was at Melwood, Liverpool's turning ground, so I'm not going to refuse that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I trained there and he said he wanted to play for us on a Saturday. But I was also playing for a Sunday league team in Sefton Park. You won't know it, but it's a, it's a park in Liverpool and like it was just rough footy, open age men's footy, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Fights, dogs, putting your own nets up, dog shit. <laughs> like, Getting chains in porter cabins, in, in, in like in, in containers and that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So the contrast between the two, you'd be playing, you'd be playing like Blackburn Rovers on a Saturday or United at the cliff, and then you'd be like fellas like threatening to fill you in on, on a Sunday. So you know, it, it, was, it was a good, it was a good kind of ground, and really. Yeah. yeah. So then after like eighteen months of that, to and fro, and playing for Liverpool on a Saturday, working in the week, playing on a Sunday against like maniacs and that, um, they, they, they said we're going to give you a contract. So I went in at twenty. So I didn't really come to the ranks as such. But when then there's a pro at twenty, um, so you go in there and you know you you you're standing there and John Barnes is there, Ian Rush is there, a young foul is there. He was like just he was on fire. Yeah, he was absolutely um, on fire. Ronnie Whelan, Steve Nichol, Bruce Grobbler. Yeah, yeah. Um, was that a bit surreal for you all that? It was. It was great. I I, I loved it. And like I I kind of I I um, I grasped it. You know what I mean? And then we had Joe Corrigan, who was, who was my goalie coach. Yeah. yeah. Um, really hard work. And, do you know what I mean? Like proper old school. Um, it's goal, goalkeeping coaching is hard, isn't it? It's harder than that field because you get you get absolutely drilled, didn't you, with a goalkeeping coaching? As as, as a goalkeeper yourself, yeah, yeah. You two yeah, you too, yeah, because you know you'll have kind of sessions, say, as an off you're playing, you can maybe like hide a little bit, but as 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 a goalkeeper, when one you're in, in one you're in, you're getting flung around everywhere. So you know, I'm not being funny. Like this was, I'm, I'm saying Joe was old school. This was probably just before the new school actually come in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So everybody was probably saying like this if you were looking up to have a goalkeeping coach. So Joe was like a hard taskmaster, um, so that was really good. Everywhere I've been since I've been at Liverpool, the training's never been as hard. No, I found because Joe would just would just have you fling yourself everywhere and just drill upon drill upon drill. So again, good grounds. Um, any, so, any stories from Liverpool? Any good stories from when you was there? Stories. Um, I don't think you after that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is one I'm after. Yeah, you. yeah. Uh, well, there's a little, there's a little one to 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 kind of line that one up. Um, cool. Stan, Stan signed up uh, for Liverpool, and, and do you know what? Like to put the centre record straight, I kind of talk to Stan now. Do you know what I mean? I've come across him quite a few times. Collymore, Collymore, yeah, Stan. yeah. So you know, I'm, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on talking terms. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm fine. It's all water under the bridge. But when, um, when Stan first came to Liverpool, um, I remember we had a, an away game at Sunderland in the cup, and I got roomed in with Stan. So Stan's coming. Like I think he's like most ex most expensive player Liverpool got, or like or in England or something. And um, so he goes into our room, and I, I goes into the room. And there's two beds, there's, like a, there's a single and a double. And I'm thinking, well, I can't fucking dive on the double because Stan's like, you know, the most expensive player <laughs> in the league and all that. I can't be fucking him off like that. He'll just, just, just bounce me that off it. So, hangs up my shoe carrier, sitting on my bed. So, um, Stan walks in there. And he puts his shoe carrier down on his double bed, which I left open for him, of course. <clears throat> and he says to me, put hang your shoe carrier up. And what? <laughs> he said, um, hang your shoe carrier up. And I'm thinking he's winding me up, you know what I mean? I went, nah, <laughs> you know what I mean? He went, no, I'm serious. He went, hang my shoot carrier up. I'm the senior pro in this room. You do what I say. You hang my shoot carrier up. Just oh, you two in there? Yeah. Oh, so I'm like, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Fucking take the piss, aren't you? And, he, and then he's kind of like debating the fact that it's like, I should do it. Yeah. Like, no, and, and he's trying to explain to me, that's what fucking trying to, trying to justify Justify, yeah. yeah. He's going, no, I'm the senior pro. You two, and I'm like, that. I went, get the fuck. So I, I, I goes into um, I goes into one of the other lads' rooms, Steve Arkness, so I'm like, that fucking stuff, get me to fucking hang his gear up, man. Like, so, it's the half he's going, yeah, fucking hate him anyway. So that was that. So then, um, 
I left it for about, I went back about 11 o'clock. So I walks in the stands in bed now, so he's lying here like in his double bed. So is he suit hanging out? He's on his own, <laughs> she's up there. He's lying in his double bed and he's fucking, you know, he's, he's um, she's watching the telly now. So I comes in, there's an atmosphere, do you know what I mean? So he comes in, like gets me gear off and that, gets me a little fat and single bed. And as I kind of just like pulls, like me, me quilt something, something's on the telly, something, just kind of watching the telly. I don't know how he'd done it, but he turned the telly off and the lights at the same time. Just bang, and it was just instant darkness, <laughs> and he just rolled over like that. So I'm just sitting there, like, fucking hell. Like, this, this fucking you know what I mean? So that was that. So I thought, oh, right, here we go. He's going to be hard to this one, do you know what I mean? So then, there's a few little things which went on with Stan, you know, he's kind of, um, you know, he had issues with everything he's heard about. Yeah, yeah, he had a few, didn't he? So then, we're in, we're in, um, we're in Ireland now on a pre-season tour. 